No, the one question that I keep, you keep, you keep mentioning this thing where it's like sales, like you have an emphasis for sales. You're teaching your daughter sales. Where did this come from in your lifetime? Have you always been in sales? Has your parents always instilled this in you? Can you give me a window into why you value sales so much? I totally agree, by the way, but I'm just curious. He grew up like he's two years old and he's like, where's the sales place? <laughs> I need to go my parents, My parents were not in, uh, were, did not install anything on me, okay? I was, um, the first time I was selling, I was in Costa Rica, I lived in many different countries. Um, I have a weird accent, I know, uh, but I lived in Costa Rica and my neighbor had given me like a sack of oranges. How old was I at the time? Seven. So I tell my, I had a nanny and I said, I need you to get me glasses and a jar and I need a box. And I started looking for a box and she didn't know what I was doing. So I took my stuff and go on the street. I remember we had a house where I, drove, I walked on in the dirt path all the way to the top of the street and I, I cut oranges and I started, oh, and I needed something to make juice. So I sold orange juice to cars and cars would stop and it says, how much is this? And I said, there's two colones. That's two, that's the, the monetary coin there. And I sold all my oranges and people say, oh, this is really good. I, I should make my, ch my children do this. I said, yes, that's good. Uh, that's four colones, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, you want competition. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, so um, that's the first time I remember selling something. Who installed this on me? It just innately came. Then later it's on- It's part of his beingness. Yeah, I like it's selling things. Uh, but, but one of the things that I, that why sales are important, I'm gonna tell you why sales are important. Even if you're in sales, you are always selling. If your wife is mad at you, you're selling. If you want a girlfriend, you're selling. If you want your boss to give you, exactly, if you want your boss to give you a, a, a raise, you're selling. If you don't want to go somewhere, you're selling. If you're negotiating with your parents that you don't want to go to wherever they want to take you, you are always selling. So if you are a good salesperson, you get to achieve the things that you might want in life. So selling, very important. I love it. I, I absolutely, I couldn't agree more. I think this is the one tenant I have in my life. Let's give people some tips. So for me, whenever I've run sales teams or I even do sales myself, I record myself. I wanna see how awkward I am. I wanna see the pauses. Similar to what your shark experience was, I have people throw questions at me that are just so crazy. So I'm on my toes. Know the numbers, know the numbers, know the numbers, know the numbers. Because you, the last thing you wanna do is lose credibility when someone says, I'll take eight and a half percent of your company and I want a royalty that pays me my principal back in a year and a half. And then I want X, right? You're like, ah, how do I break that? What are, you, what are some tenants that you could share with some people as it relates to sales that you found to be uh, truly a differentiator for you? Practice, what, what, give us a window. Okay, um, there are many different types of sales, okay? But the most imp um, the sale that we did in Shark Tank is different to other sales, but there's many different types of sales. You have sales that are one-on-one, -on -one, you have sales to groups of people, but the most important thing on a sale, never be afraid, Never, and this is really important, never be afraid of what will happen. Because mm. a lot of people don't even start a sale or start saying the thing because they're afraid of what response they're gonna get. I call that analysis paralysis, okay? You analyze until you are paralyzed. So the most important thing is it doesn't matter what you're selling or what you want or what you don't want. It doesn't matter. Just take it out, right? The, the best way of putting it is like a, you're in a horse, right? And you're riding a horse. You don't really know how to ride a horse. And there is like, um, there's like a fence there and you don't even know if the horse can jump that fence, but if, you, if it doesn't jump, you die. So you just go for it, right? What's the worst thing that can happen? You don't get the sale. You're so right. I feel like I've, uh, I've rewired my brain. So like that fear component, right? So it's like action and then fear is natural because we're all humans. And then it's like your result. I've just killed the fear part of my brain. It like doesn't exist anymore. Well, it will always Which, be there. It's I always there. It too. And believe it, people that like me, me talking about it, I have that fear too. I remember that I wouldn't sell, what was it? I think it was Walmart or someone. I wouldn't, I was afraid of sending an email with prices because I was afraid that they would say no. Right? And I was afraid that they would say no to me and that thing will happen. So by no sending the email, I didn't get a no. So it was okay. But it wasn't okay. 
That wasn't okay. If they said no, it's fine. It's one of the thousands of no I'm gonna get in my road to success. Because the road of success is leader, if you look behind you, by thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of no's. That's All so you need is one yes. yes. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out that clip. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button down below. And if you're interested in hearing the full episode, it's out right now on our YouTube channel. We've had a lot of great guests come on this show before, and we've got a lot of great guests coming up in the future. So hit subscribe so that you don't miss a single episode. And one final note, we're always looking for new ideas and new companies to feature on the show. So if you know of someone or know of a company, write us a comment down below letting us know who they are and what they do. We'd be happy to have them on the show. Till then, I'll just be here waiting for your comments. So, uh, see you later.